Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm just sorting out my flexi hand, I'm not quite sure what happened here. <laughs> so I'm using my flexi hand for this set. I'm also going to be using Nail Camille's Genesis Acrylic. The colours that I will be using... What the heck was that? I don't know. Um, I'm using Crystal, which is the clear. Um, Lily, which is their white. And I am going to be using Blossom today, which is the, like, the more peachy of the two pinks. The glitters I'm using, as per always, are from Nail Sugar. The first one I'm using is called Emerald. This is quite similar to the one that I used the other day called Sterling, only, obviously, instead of being silver, it is a green. And I'm also going to be using Firefly. I kind of like this more than... It was between this one and Mary Cherry. And I just preferred this one. So I, yeah, going to be using that. I love that one, actually. Firefly is so nice. Um, and I got these little golden snowflakes from AliExpress. And I bloody love these. So we're going to be using these today. <laughs> to start with, I am applying Blossom to the pinky. And I'm going to make this quite thin because I want to do a full glitter nail. But I didn't want... I wanted a colour underneath. And until now, can we get some coloured acrylics? I just thought I'd use the Blossom. Because I I don't want... I don't know. It's like if they... Yeah, it's difficult. I don't know what I'm going to say. I do kind of know what I'm going to say. But I think it doesn't really make sense. Story of my life, really. <laughs> So the rest of this nail is going to be covered in the Firefly Glitter. This glitter is so, so nice. You get hints of pink in it, but it wasn't too pink that it didn't look Christmassy. And once I've covered the whole nail, I am going to apply three of the gold snowflakes to this nail. And actually, I think this nail... My, actually the thumb I quite like the thumb as well oddly enough I wasn't sure what I was doing when it came to the thumb I just thought you know what we're just gonna have a play you'll you'll see in a minute anyway and also I don't know what it is about this set but I just feel like it really really shows off just how crystal clear the crystal acrylic is from nail Kami. So, yeah, at the end, when I top coat, I just think, oh my goodness. So this snail was going to be a kind of marble. Uh, again, I don't, I don't really know. I always put a bead at the cuticle area just to make it nice and neat. And then I go in with some blobs of each colour. So I've used white, clear and blossom. And I kind of just wanted it to be, have like almost like an icy kind of wintry... I don't know. I don't. I don't really know what I was doing. Again, story of my life. <laughs> Let's just wing it at life. I think loads of people wing it at life, don't you? Because I mean, you know, yeah, whatever. Natalie, shut up. Just get on with the nails. Again, I'm just gonna put some blobs of acrylic. I make it wet-ish because I'm gonna, you know, move it up and down, backwards and forwards. No, normally I I work up to one corner and back down to the opposite corner depends if you're left-handed or right-handed as to which way i suppose you're going to do it but then i'm going to add some of the emerald city glitter and some firefly glitter through this nail i think this is my least favorite nail actually it was a bit of a i don't i don't really know what was happening with this nail and then i'm going to put a bit more red in between the two green stripes i feel really cold all of a sudden and i feel like i'm gonna come down with something oh i think i need another hot chocolate oh bit of red back up at the cuticle area as well put a little bit of blob of a little bit of glitter up there too okay so that's that one done apart from it's not capped but i will cap at the end and then i'm gonna do a reverse smile line on this nail so i i'm really sometimes i think i need a really extended nail bed and sometimes my nail beds aren't really extended that much at all and this one was quite an extreme extended nail bed considering the length of the nail so like there wasn't a lot of free edge to play with at the end of this one <laughs> i don't know if there's like a set rule as to like should the nail bed be like three quarters or no a third how do you when you do your nail beds how do you decide how long you're going to do your nail beds 
Like, do you make it about a third of the entire nail from cuticle to free edge? Because I don't really know how I do mine. And I don't know if there's like a, because I was never taught this method. This this reverse spiral line method YouTube taught me. Um, so I don't know, you know, if there's, uh, I don't know, if there's a rule to it or not. Is what I'm trying to say, I think. I'm going to put one more bead at the cuticle area. Actually, I think I do put another bead on as well. When I do this, I do like to make sure that it's got enough height on it so that when I um, when I come to file it, I don't have to, like when I put the, I'm gonna put glitter on this free edge and I'm just like to just make sure that I can just cap the glitter and not have to put clear acrylic over the, the nail bed. See what I mean? So I'm just gonna add a little bit more height here. I just think it looks neater. I don't know, I, yeah, I don't know. It's just how I do it. Um, the index finger, I am going to do this an all white nail. So we're going to use Lily and I'm going to fade that down the nail. I'm not making it thick or creating structure with the white because I want to put some of the gold snowflakes on top of this white, but I'm just going to put them near the cuticle end of this nail. I actually, I really, really like this white. So I'm going to put the three, I'm going to put three snowflakes on again. And they're going to go up this end of the nail, more so than the bottom. And then I will cap that later. That's when I'm going to create my structure for this nail. And then the thumb was a bit weird, so I kind of decided to go down one side of the free edge with Emerald City. And then the other side, I was going to do Firefly, but I was going to kind of do almost like a glitter ombre, but it didn't really ombre very well. Yeah, move it in so people can see Nats. So this side is going to be the Firefly glitter. By the way, if you don't have this one, you need it. I was going to say you need it for Christmas. So Christmas is coming up really quick. Where has December gone? So if you need a nice Christmassy red, I would get this one and I would get it quick from Nail Sugar. And you can save 10% as well when you order by using code NATMUG10 all in caps. I know, right bargain. So I was kind of doing it so that the glitters would kind of like blend into each other. And then, and then, I'm going to put a little bit of clear acrylic just over this, like a very thin layer. Then I'm going to put a little bit more at the, there, I'm going to put a bit more there. Because I'm going to do a acrylic glitter fade thing. So I'm going to take the blossom acrylic and I'm going to do an ombre with this over the glitter. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? It sounds right in my head, but it might not be right. <laughs> oh dear. Then I'm gonna do the cuticle bead and just bring it down a bit more. And to get that glitter off. And then I'm gonna put some what do you call it? What are they? The, the gold snowflakes. I'm going to put two of them on here just to kind of continue that sort of gold snowflake theme across all the nails. Not all of them because not all of them are going to have them. Oh, I put three. I didn't realise I put three on. Okay, so I have filed around the smile line. I didn't show it, but what I'm going to do is I am going to put the green Emerald City glitter around the smile line. And then at that very, very tip of the free edge, I'm gonna put some of the Firefly. I wish I'd put a snowflake right on the end of that one, but I didn't. There we go. And then a little bit of the, I just, oh, I just really, really like these colors. There we go. And then I, yeah, with this one, I'm just gonna cap that free edge. 
not the whole nail. So I'm going to cap them all now and cap shape them in the crystal acrylic. And this is them filed and buffed. So the oh top coat and top, top coat and tan. We're going to use Nalchemy's non-white top coat. Uh, look at this look look at this glitter and the snowflakes don't they look amazing and can you see what i mean by you can really see just how crystal clear that crystal acrylic is do you see what i mean i don't know what it is about this set but i just think it's i don't know it just really really shows off just how clear that acrylic is and i love the glitz of course who doesn't love a little bit of glitter or a lot of glitter there we go i kind of actually like that one in the end i don't, I don't know or do i i don't know i think that that nail bed is definitely extended just a little bit too much i suppose it's whatever floats your boat though although it does kind of look it does look kind of good but maybe, I don't know. I just don't know. And then the thumb. I kind of like, I really as well. I actually quite like the gold snowflakes over the white. And then, yeah, the thumb. I was really pleased actually with how the thumb turned out. We just have to G now come up to get some coloured acrylics out now. Because I cannot wait to play with the colours. There we go. So I'm going to pop this in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. And this is them finished, but I will give you a cheeky close up. They look kind of cool, don't they? I really like them. Look, the thumb. I love the thumb. What do you think of the thumb? Which is your favourite now of the whole set? <laughs> I think for me, it's the thumb and the pinky. I think that's got to be it. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. You know the drill. If you did, leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Blah, 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 blah. And I will see you lovely lot at some point in the near future. I say that because I don't know what day I'm going to be uploading this video. 